रेस्पेक्टेड श्री करुणा निधि रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ मद्रास यूनिवर्सिटी श्री मणि सन ऑफ द ग्रेट डॉक्टर एस के नायर माय डियर ब्रदर पद्म भूषण पद्म विभूषण दास एटन पद्म भूषण श्री धनंजय अदर डिग्नेटरीज ऑन द डैस एंड द स्कॉलर्स ऑफ मलयालम योर फॉर हियर प्लीज डोंट एक्सपेक्ट मी टू स्पीक इन मलयालम बिकॉज आई लव द लैंग्वेज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पॉइल इट when i was told that dr sk nair's centenary is being celebrated i was happy that it coincides with the 90th year of malayalam department in madras university it's a beautiful blend of two celebrations and let me also congratulate dr girish who has received sahitya academy award <laughs> dr eskinaya was a family friend and to me he was a mentor i didn't learn malayalam from him but he would be perhaps surprised to know that when i did phd he was my chief examiner but long before that even when my when i was a child my eldest brother balakrishnan was producing his first documentary film on southern region of india and while dealing with the kayal and the boats of kerala he wanted something very suitable for the background music and it was dr sk nair who gave the right folk song and this was way back in 1957 from that time our families have been close and uh, later when my etati you say etati no for sister in law brother's wife shamla balakrishnan was doing research in madras university on uh, folk music of tamil nadu she had guidance from dr s k nair though he was in the malayalam department he knew so much about tamil tamil folk songs and dr sk nair was a multifaceted personality when uh, i had uh, performed ramayana as a solo in a multilingual concert swami chinmayananda was presiding over the inauguration my ramayana was in sanskrit uh, i mean for uh, i took verses from valmiki uh, kamban and many poets i did not touch malayalam swami ji called me and said you should add irtachan's ramayana and there must be something of hasya also in it otherwise it's very tense and he also chose the verses from irtachan it was shurpanaka episode so naturally i went to dr sk nair for help he not only gave me the meaning of those verses not only compiled the verses he gave meaning of the verses he danced that shurpanaka for me he was himself a kathakali artist so there was so much of 
um, Bhava in his um, teaching, this only shows that teachers have to feel what they teach. There must be some conviction. If you simply go on um, reciting a poem or reading a prose, it doesn't reach the heads of students. What you need is to really feel, have a conviction for that bhava which the poet has had in his mind. And this is why Dr. S.K. Nair's teaching was above linguistic barriers. His Malayalam was very, very easy to understand. When I, I finished my PhD thesis, of course, I am, sir, I am a, I'm a student at Madras University. This is my alma mater. I did both my um, BA and MA here only. In fact, master's degree I did at the university itself, at the music department with Professor Vishwanathan as the head of the department at that time. But I did my PhD in Annamale University. It's not out of place here to mention you are the registrar. I want you to register this in your mind. I did not get a seat here to do my PhD in dance. It was not there at that time. And my subject was a correlated study of dance cultures, inscriptions, literature, and actual practice. And it was Dr. Sarsi Piram Swamir who created the faculty for me. He organized this. It was a very special arrangement that he made. So my PhD was from Annamale University, but my chief examiner was Dr. S. K. Nair. He was, and it was in 1978, I think he retired, and I got my PhD in 1980 from his golden hands. After that, when I did my Krishnayatu Bhimnamaha bilingual dance program at Guruvayur, Dr. S.K. Nair and Amma, both of them, they came with us. My whole family was there. My mother was also there by the time my father had passed away. Sir, your Acha was my Achan also. I can claim. <laughs> He's such a parental personality. So he came with us, both Amma and Acha, both of them came. And he had absolutely no complex. For my performance, he gave Malayalam commentary for every item at Guruvayur, right in front of the Lord. That was a great experience for me. It was a blessing. And we didn't stop there. He took us to Kadambura. We had darshan at Kadambura. Why I'm saying all this is probably he wanted to bless me. And if every, everything that happens in life, as Dase does said, has a meaning. And it is all programmed as elsewhere. So whatever he gives us is something which we have to accept. Not, not the, as a compromise, but as a blessing. Only then you are able to achieve something in life and offer that achievement also at the feet of the Lord. Work is worship. There is nothing that uh, can stop any of us from that sadhana. Every day, like how Dasa it has said, I practice every day, even now at this age also, because it is important. That is, you know, we breathe music and dance. It is, it's, it's breath, it's our breath. And if every student can feel like that for the subject, 
you will be at the top of the world. I don't want to take much of your time. Today happens to be my father's death anniversary. And look at the connection. My See, Guru is supposed to be a parent. He's equal to your parent. And look at the connection. My father passed away in 1971. But today is his English date as well as Tithi. And we have some special um, function, some ritual, and uh, my whole family is having a get-together. But I accepted to come when Mr. Mani wanted me to come and say a few words about Dr. Nair. I thought it was like talking about my own father. I know I will get his blessings, but I request all of you to pardon me for leaving now. I won't be able to stay for the whole function because at my house, my entire family, all the branches of the family has already congregated. I'm just one hour late already. So please pardon me, but I thank you. I congratulate uh, Shimani for having come all the way from America. This is the best way he can show his gratitude to his father. He has created an endowment, and whether Mr. Mani comes for all lectures or not, his father's name will be perpetuated, the memory will be made eternal, and we have to thank the registrar for having given the Malayalam department this wonderful opportunity to celebrate a great man's centenary. Sen the centenary being celebrated it's n is not going to add any glory to Dr. S.K. Nair. It is something which will add glory to our own selves. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful words.